What's up guys, it's your boy Jifty here, back at it again with another video and today I'm gonna share with you guys the types of Hot Wheels cards that are out there. Ever since I blew up on TikTok, a lot of people have approached me for tips and tricks on collecting Hot Wheels cards. For example, sometimes they're not sure how much a car is worth or is it valuable or rare. Well, today I'm gonna run through with you guys the types of Hot Wheels cars that there are so that you can differentiate which one are the more cheaper or basic Hot Wheels cars and tell them apart from the more valuable, more rare Hot Wheels cars. So starting at the bottom of the food chain are the basic mainline cars. Now, these are the ones you see at Toys R Us or Kitty Palace or Walmart that go for $1 in the USA. Your card usually looks like this and they come with plastic wheels, very simple details. Maybe every now, every now and then Hot Wheels will give it a little bit more details. But all in all, they usually come in this packaging right here. Here. Now this one is a bit of a gray area. Some people consider it mainline. Personally, I don't. But this is more of the so-called the special series cars. So in the USA, I understand that these go for also a dollar. But here in Singapore, these are slightly more expensive. Cars that you see from the Lamborghini series or from all those other pop culture kind of series. Technically mainline cars because they have plastic wheels and very simple details. But because of the licensing, you usually have to pay more for these cars right here. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's more uh, valuable in the resale market. Now, one step above that are your character cars. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen movies from Frozen or you guys play games like Apex Legends. This is what this series is for. Now, what's so special about this series is that the tooling they use for these cars are very special just for the car itself. So, for example, we have the Darth Vader casting here from the character cars series. And you can see that the car kind of resembles Darth Vader because it's color black. The head of the car or the roof of the car is the shape of Darth Vader's helmet. And if you look at the side of the car, there's even a red lightsaber which is the color of the lightsaber that Darth Vader used in the Star Wars movie. Now, as cool as the car is, you most probably will never see this in another color. Darth Vader will always be black. You'll never see him in green, purple or pink just black so usually for the character car series they are more expensive because they're sort of a more exclusive to the tooling of the car itself now this is where things get better now we are moving to the premium line so the premium line is where the hot wheels cars are more detailed they will always have metal bases, rubber tires, and all five sides of the car usually are tempoed or have decals. So one of the more uh, common premium lines that most of you will see is the Hot Wheels Premium line, which are the ones you see right here. These are from the Car Culture series, which Hot Wheels has been releasing lately, and these cars are amazing. They usually come in a set of five cars. You don't have to collect all of them if you want to, but I'm just saying that they usually come in five cars nowadays. Similar to the Car Culture line, we have the Pop Culture line. Same thing, these have metal bases, rubber tires and more details. These cars usually focus on pop culture references. Just like the character car series, this usually revolves around movies and cultures. Like for example, your Avengers cars or your serials or your movies and stuff like that. So here's an example. Most of you are familiar with this movie right here, Back to the Future. And this is one of the cars in the pop culture line. Hot Wheels recreated the DeLorean time machine in the form of a 1 to 64 scale car for people who are aware of pop culture references. This case is the Back to the Future time machine. How about candies? I'm sure a lot of us like candies, especially for my younger viewers. I'm sure all of you have eaten M&M's, right? Personally, I love them. And my favorite one is uh, the, the, the peanut, you know what I'm saying? Well, check this out. I have the Volkswagen Drag Bus M&M casting right here. So although the Drag Bus itself has nothing to do with M&M, what Hot Wheels has done is printed the mascots, the M&M mascots on the car itself, which is part of the pop culture line. Depending on the car or the pop culture in question, these cars can usually fetch more value especially this drag bus right here if you check eBay the, 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 the prices are pretty steep now we're going in a bit of a tangent because I've talked about main lines earlier which usually go for $1 but for those new to collecting there's this thing called super treasure hunts so check this out I'm sure most of you guys have known this this was released recently the Sesto Elemento in this nice turquoise color it's a mainline car it's $1 in the USA for beginner collectors there's this thing called super treasure hunt which is like an improved version of the car that you're seeing right here. Super treasure version of this Sesto Elemento looks like this and you can see how much better that looks just take a comparison here is the mainline version and here's a super treasure hunt version now you can tell that this looks way nicer and because of that it fetches more value there's no exact number on how many super treasure hunts there are is it like one in 100 one in 500 are super treasure hunts i don't know it really depends but just know that if you find a super treasure hunt in the wild you are very lucky because i've only found three super treasure hunts in toys r us or shops like that in my years of collecting there are plenty of youtube videos out there explaining super treasures so be sure to do your research so you can find out more about super treasures and their value 
So here's a tip. All of the cards I've mentioned so far are cards that you can find on the peg. Usually the older the release, the more valuable it is. For example, the Bugatti Veyron recently in this color. It's a pretty cool. Bugattis are pretty hyped in the Hot Wheels market. But because this is just released this year, it's not going for much money. But if you take a look right here, the satin variant, this red color, although it's just a different color, right? We have the black one and we have the red one right here. This one goes for crazy amounts of prices. Just look at the eBay listings going on right now. And the reason for that is because this red version was released years ago. So it's harder to find, it's rarer, and the demand for it is higher for Bugatti collectors. So just know that usually when the car is released a longer time ago, it's more valuable. The same can be applied for cars that were released in the 1968 series, also known as the Sweet 16. 16 cars right here were the first 16 Hot Wheels cars ever made. And don't get me started on this because this goes for crazy prices. Terms for these cars are very interchangeable. They're usually called red lines or the Sweet 16s and whatnot. But just know that these were the early days of Hot Wheels, so this goes for crazy prices. There are much more rare Hot Wheels cars out there, but I will not be touching up on them because this video is focused for beginner collectors, things that they can kind of get their hands on now. But if you guys really want me to go in depth with these rare cars such as the Sweet 16s and whatnot, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll make a video in the future. And of course now, right here, we have the ultimate of the ultimate cars of all time. We have these things called the Red Line Club cars. Hot Wheels has their own Hot Wheels collector websites where they released Red Line Club cars, also known as the RLC cars. Now, these cars are usually limited because they only release these cars in limited quantities. One of the hottest drops recently was the Candy Striper Drag Bus. Only 20, 20,000 of these is released worldwide. These cars are usually dropped every Tuesday in the USA time and here in Singapore it's at midnight. You have to queue up online and pray and hope that you can check out this car at your checkout cart and the website. People usually collect these cars mainly because maybe they look nice, their, their premium feel, the packaging is just way way more premium compared to your typical mainline cars. But not only that, because these fetch high values afterwards, the resale values on RLC cars are just extra. And even more crazy than RLC cars are convention cars. Cars that usually are only sold or given at conventions in the USA. And because it's only in the USA, you can imagine the hype and demand for these cars internationally. For example, we have the Datsun 510 convention piece right here, very commonly released for convention pieces because it's one of the hype pieces in the world of collecting Hot Wheels. But yes, a car like this can fetch hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So yes, those were just a rough touch up or only the surface of collecting Hot Wheels cars. If you're new to the hobby, just buy the cars, start from your main lines to the special series to your premium cars. And maybe if you're expert enough, you can start hunting for those super treasure hunts or Red Line Club cars or collect cars that are back from the 1980s, 1990s and etc. There's just a lot of Hot Wheels cars to touch up on, but for now, this is where I'll end it off. If you guys have any more questions about the Hot Wheels on how to start collecting Hot Wheels cars, how to find out the value of the car, essentially you just have to go to eBay and check the prices of the car. If you have any more questions, please feel free to tell me in the comments below. Anyways, that's it guys for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and as always, please enjoy the hobby. Uh, you know, don't overspend on Hot Wheels cars like I did because I'm kind of a I'm, I'm kind of regretting it. But yes, please enjoy the hobby, spend your money wisely and stay safe during this COVID season and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.